Hey everyone, it's Greg Clancy, musical director of The Vocal Majority, and I have the men of The Vocal Majority standing behind me. We're here at rehearsal, our standard Thursday night rehearsal as we're getting ready for our spring shows. Um, but there's something for us that's a little more important that we would like to, uh, to share with all of you that happen to be on Facebook tonight. Um, I was moved, I guess a day or two ago, when I saw on the news the Civic Symphony Orchestra of Kyiv playing the Ukraine national anthem in the streets of Kyiv. And I know it's already been performed by the uh, New York Philharmonic, and um, we've heard different versions of it. And, but that, that uh, moment was particularly touching for me. So I got in touch with all my barbershop buddies uh, in the chorus and said, do you think we could uh, sing the Ukrainian anthem and, and just do what we do, which is just put harmony into a world that needs more harmony. That's, that's really what we're about, and that's really all we have to offer. But in 1862, a poet penned this poem in Ukraine, and in 1864, it was set to music, and it became the Ukrainian national anthem. So this was written about 160 years ago, but it seems like it could have been written today. Um, the national anthem is, is called Ukraine Has Not Yet Perished. So imagine that being your national anthem, what these people have been holding on to. So we just want to show our support, and we actually want to do their anthem in English so that you can hear the words and, and the message of the song, which is, it's beautiful. It's not cheery or happy necessarily. Um, it tells a story, though, of, of what these people have gone through and, and what they're going through now. So this is Vocal Majority showing our support. We got this chart about uh, an hour ago at the beginning of rehearsal, but we're going to give it our best shot and sing it for you now.